Good morning! Today I get to tell you what's going through my mind as I play golf. So on the first tier, I'm trying to find out where the right hand side of the fairway is. And that most certainly isn't it. So perhaps being out to the left isn't as bad as it would seem. Now I never give up on par until it's gone. So from 81 with a sand wedge, I'm still looking to make a par. And I've got every chance. Never give up on par. Five iron today. Now there's a bank on the right of the green, which I do not want to be. I don't want to be chipping down onto the green. So I always try and favour the left hand side. A double breaker par will be just fine. Into the wind and up the hill. There is absolutely no point in me trying to hit this ball hard. It's not going to gain me anything. In fact I've driven that the grand total of about 180 yards. Three wood for my second shot and that goes about 160. This is a strong wind. Hybrid now. At least now I'm on the flat I can hit a low one. So a low runner it is. And we knock it down to the front of the green. And even though I've made a hash of that, never give up on your par. turn around and forge down the wind. So all I need here is a three wood, although I've squirted it right. Sand wedge over the grass bunker and we can easily knock up another par. Had I got my three wood straight I would most certainly be looking for a birdie at this hole. Uphill putt to finish off, absolutely perfect. Well, it's a lot windier than I was expecting, but then it always is. Right, so the first thing I did when I came up over the brow here of the thirds just behind you, is I checked out the fourth green and I checked out the eleventh. And then on the fourth tee box, I checked out the tenth and the sixth and the fifth. This is what you got to do, is as you go round, absorb as much information as you can. This fifth is with the water in front. If I don't get a good drive away I'm probably going to be laying up and then pitching over the water and I'll take me bogey. You've got to have some happy bogeys on a golf course. There are always going to be some like the 12th and the 15th at Lillybrook. Here, it's the long holes into the wind. Take your happy bogey and move on. There's always going to be a hole that's downwind and then you've got your birdie chance. Back into the wind and it's off the right. So I was expecting it to give me a shove left, but it didn't. So I've finished in the rough. Now it's 140 to clear the water, so we'll forget about that. Hit a four iron. See if we can run it down onto the front of the green. And we come up a little shy. So we're chipping and putting. All I want to do here is to chip past the flag so I've got an uphiller coming back. Job done. But sometimes you play for a position so you can finish it off. On the six, I can just see the top of the flag. This is a five iron. Into and off the left. And we celebrate hitting the green. 
as soon as I got to the ball I realised that my two choices here was hole out for a two or I'm going to make a bogey and you just have to take that bogey sometimes you just can't avoid it I suppose it doesn't help if you hit your putt just a little too hard and it runs off the front of the green again seventh to find this fairway I've got to aim well left of the target there's a little post up there telling you where the middle is I've had to hit well left of it this is one of the most difficult pro shots on the course you can't really see where you're going and I know that I've hit that too far right instead of bouncing onto the green it's got held up chip it down and this is going to be one of those happy bogeys I don't think I've ever aimed so far left on this hole. But having paid a visit to the Out of Bounds a couple of weeks ago down the right, I felt the need to. Now there was no bounce, and it didn't bounce because it's buried in this stuff. This is horrid. Yeah, that horrid. I didn't even reach the green. But we've got a wedge and a putter chip it up too hard hit the flag and save my bacon so we get a par and after a par like that there's only one place I belong you're going to jail you're, you're going to jail well being white tees and this wind there's no gamble on this tee shot if you're going to make a birdie you make it with your putter you don't make it with your driver. So let's get it on the hole, nice and safe. Now I can take a hybrid, close the face down and hit this waist high. This is all about keeping out of the wind and not too worrying too much about where it ends up. Now if the flag was back, I'd have a chance, but coming over this little trench, I can't really stop it near the flag but we've played a windy hole and got a par and you can't ask for any more than that really taking the hybrid and it's a bit of a guess I had the four iron in my hand for a little while and it turns out that the four iron was the correct club but I know this green so well now that a par isn't too much of an ask and I've done an awful lot of chipping down the green and holding out on to 11 we're down the wind look how far left I'm aiming to allow for the bit of left to right and that is an absolute doozy which puts me in a nice position if I hit a good one I'm on the green if I hit a poor one then I got about a 40 yard chip and run so there's no real danger over that second shot and here's that 40 yard chip and run all I've got to do is lift it over the grass bunker and it will run out up to the hole and there we are job done and our first bird <laughs> off to 12 my line is just to cut over the end of that grass bunker 
we definitely let this one go and we're definitely in the wrong position. The angle into the green is awful, not to mention the lie being awful. The grass shuts the face, the ball bounces left and down the bank and I've never been here before. God awful lie. Take a sand wedge, open the face, try and splash it like a bunker. Get it on the damn green. And we do that. And a par putt that I really wasn't expecting. It wasn't far away, was it? And we go to 13. The white tee on 13 is 90 yards back. So this is a question of hitting the ball straight, not long, even though that is a damn good drive. It's keeping the ball in play. So a low four iron here, out of the wind, is better than me taking a wood and simply trying to get a few yards closer. 123, a little chippy eight iron, keep it down, keep it out of the wind. And we're on in three. On a day like this, on in three, is damn good. And a par, very damn good. You know, I thought I was gonna be doing a, a lot of chat today, but with this wind, it's just not possible. So it's all gonna be voiceover. I thought it was gonna be two videos. I'll tell you a little story. There's another golf club that's pretty high up and they said, we've got a bit of land. If we build a new tee box on that land, we'll be higher than your 14th. West Monmouth just said, crack on. We own about a hundred extra feet up there. Can you do that? So on 14, I'm aiming at the left edge of the fairway. But that is a god awful shot. It's a real slap. It's not gone very far and we're still in the rough. Nine iron should be plenty to get down the hill. But I got that a bit chunky, so that's two bad shots on the trot. Now I like to chip, and the reason I like to chip is I don't know what the fringe is going to do to a putt. And secondly, I can't put backspin on a putt. Do a little check and a little run out and oh that went a little too far but we leave ourselves an uphill putt and uphill putts are great for par so the 15th is much longer from here and it looks rather narrow but being down the wind a straight shot isn't that difficult another difficult approach. You can't really see where you're going. Now to me, that looked perfect. But it wasn't on the green. I thought it must have run off the left, so I brought the sand wedge. And as soon as I found my ball, I knew it was a pitching wedge. And I was too lazy to go back to the bag and get the pitching wedge. Pitching wedge would have gone lower, it would have run out more. And this is a bogey caused by being lazy. Now down 16 here, I've hit every club from a 6 iron to a 3 wood. This is the hybrid. And I'm always surprised when I actually find the target when the guess is correct. Well done, Simon. Chipping a putt should be a regular par. Mm, I could have done better than that. And I could have done better than that. Now on 17, I went to the front of the tee box so I could laser it picked my club, came back, and I've teed up on the yellows by mistake. So 
So I'm about four or five yards closer to the green than I should be. That hit the bloody flag. So if I teed in the right place, instead of being four or five yards past, I'd have been right next to the hole. But it makes no difference. On to the last, and I've got a little bit shy about the right hand side. I keep dragging my tee shot left and into the valley. Chippy eight iron into the breeze, keep it down. Yeah, I must start hitting my drive down the fairway. But the chippy eight iron was perfect. The putt, not quite perfect. Cheerio. I didn't do it on 17 though.